I'm modifying the sensor switch for the automatic feed. Um, it was this piece of brass in this section with the spark plug. I've also cut the bottom of that spark plug off. The little bit what hangs out. That was binding up with water and rust. And I'm going to replace it with just that one. It goes pretty much straight into the boiler. And the spark plug goes in there. Alright, I'll hook it up and we'll fire up the boiler. Okay, back again, got the new water probe in. We replaced it with this one where it used to hang out here. Hopefully that works a bit better. Got the fire all ready to go. And we're going to test the volume of the steam with the turbine. turbine. It's got two stainless steel plates and sandwiched in between, I'm not sure if you can see it, is a turbine blade. Each plate weighs about 6 kilos, so we've got about 12 kilos on there. The little jet nozzle, I think it's in the right position. It was a Tesla turbine but it wasn't working so well, but it might now with steam, but I'll do that later as another test. At the moment it's just a standard turbine blade with some uh, balancing weights or flywheel weight. Alright, I'll um, go have some lunch and I'll get back and burn it and we'll see if that can turn at a reasonable RPM. Hi again, it's the next day. The uh, water pump controller keeps blowing the transistor so I've modified the circuit to put a 1.7 K resistor across the base pin and a very large diode on the end of the positive lead that goes to the motor. I'm hoping that will fix it. I think the um, transistor and the resistor on the base pin will fix the issue. I was testing it last night on a heavy 18 volt battery and it was working. Okay, so um, I'll just hook up the amp meter and we'll check the amperage. Okay, I'm back. Amp meter's connected. Let's um, charge the boiler. I have the new probe in. It's much shorter. Okay, let's see if she fills up. And no go again. What have I got wrong? Oh, what the hell? Oh, looks like it's failed again. Okay, overriding that diode. Last night that diode was working on a different motor. For some reason, this motor doesn't respond to it. I think it works now. There we go. We're pumping water and we're drawing 1.8 amps. Hopefully the switch detects and turns off. Bucket was up to there, it should nearly turn off. Or water will come out the end. It worked. Okay, let's see if it works when we got some steam going. Okay, just lit the fire up. Nice and warm. We have no steam at the moment. I'll put some more water in the bucket. Oh.
so far, so good. We have the um, steam turbine ready to go. Have two valves on now. If we get out of control, we can open up the main one. It's open at the moment. And the valve to the turbine. All right, I'll get back to you when this is warm. Water pumps detected a drop in the levels. Pressure's going up. We've disconnected. Seems to be working. All right, that was only been only about two, three minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. We're at 20 psi. Starting to heat up. I got that valve slightly open. Fire's doing all right. And we have some movement on 20 psi. Still got to get hotter yet. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, still, it's only six minutes. It wasn't ten minutes before. Starting to make a roar now. Still not hot enough. You can sort of hold your hand on it, but we got 40 psi nearly. I'm going to open the valve to the turbine. Just slightly. About 30 psi. We're accelerating. Too much steam, can't see anything. We're dropping again, we're still not warm enough. Still nowhere near hot enough. Alright, I'll be back. It's been 12 minutes now. We're still not very warm. Sort of can't hold your hand on that though. We're off at nearly 40. I'll open the valve for the turbine. The water pump seems to be feeding now with the shorter probe. The turbine's really going. Right, we're not hot enough yet, we're still dropping in pressure. So I'll slowly close that off a bit. Pump's going on. Pumping more water. All right, I'll get back in a couple of minutes. 23 minutes later, we're at 30 psi, we're only slightly open. We're increasing, might open it a bit more. I'm 
All right, we'll go check out the turbine. Oh, we're cruising now. We're dropping again. Just close the valve a bit. Only 23 minutes. Not that hot yet. The water's still sucking in, so it's working. That small probe. Holding that 30 psi. Valve's only half open, quarter. Take a taco reading. I ah, can't see anything. I'll get back. 26 minutes later. Turbine's moving pretty well. Right, we're dropping in pressure now. I'll go stoke the fire a bit. Rises pretty quickly, look, with the valve off. All right, I'll be back. Okay, 48 minutes of heat. At 30 psi. Gauge is only slightly open. We're dropping. Turbine's going. I don't think this thing works. Dodgy bloody taco meter. Yeah, this one's junk. Alright, we're dropping off in pressure. Okay, it's been an hour. The pressure keeps dropping off once the water kicks in. I think I might have to wrap some water pipe around the outer of that to keep it warm. Perhaps. But the new water switch seems to be activating. We've gone through three buckets in an hour. But it just dumps too much cold water. Could be a bit of that and the blow off valve's a bit too low, 50 psi. Sort of blows off around about 45 and then that only leaves us from 30 to 45 psi to play with. It just dumped some water in then, now it's cooled down. Minutes later the pressure's building up now. I'll open the valve.
got 12 kilos on it spinning around. Alright, I'll get back. It's an hour and 20 minutes now. No fumes coming out the top. But when the water pump activates, it dumps too much water in and cools it down way too much. Just did a dump and now it's um, slowing right down in pressure. If I open the valve anymore, it sort of drops. Might have to go to the coil pancake copper in the center instead of the vertical pipe. It's really cool in there now. Fire's still going all right. It's blowing right back there. Probably definitely needs its insulation on it. I think the outer chamber's cooling down as well. It's about 10 degrees here today. All right, I'll get back. Okay, hour and 40 minutes. Water, definitely putting too much water into the boiler. I'm pretty much out of wood. Turbine is still spinning. The uh, resistor certainly works on the um, base pin of the transistor. Maybe a pulsing solenoid is needed. Okay, we got the valve open. Turbine's really cruising at 30 psi. If we can maintain 30 psi, we'll be all right. This turbine. Steam certainly gets hot. That's 100 degrees right there. And that's three meters away. Okay, we're dropping off now. I've turned the water pump off. I'm going to let it dry out. And that's the end of today's experiment. All right, I'll get back. Oh, maybe I might put an elbow on that and make that spark plug vertical. 
perhaps that'll be the next test. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, so, a bit on the turbine. That was still spinning from there. It's pretty warm actually. It was a Tesla turbine, but I changed it and put a um, fan in the center. That fan took uh, seven hours to mark out and cut. A little nozzle came from a um, old MIG welder, line feeder, and gas connector to the handpiece. The um, brass wasn't so good; it went all porosity type when I welded that up, but it sealed. And um, each disc is six kilos, so there's two discs on there. We got 12 kilos, and the little fan doesn't weigh much at all. Where is it? There it is. So I still have to work on the water feeder unit. It sort of dumps too much water in and then takes 15 minutes to heat up again. Uh, we've got a bit of smoke coming out the top now. There's no wood left. That's the fire. And surprising how good steam transfers heat three meters away this pipe and you still can't touch it so one good thing about steam seems to um, drive the turbine a lot better than 40 psi on the compressor yeah, well, there you go I'll get back so, yep.